Good evening, everybody. I'm just going to grab this chap quickly just to give me a hand. Yeah. I'll keep it as brief as possible, but I promise you. I've just got quite a bit to say. Okay, good evening, everybody. Before I get started with, with what I've got written down here, uh, I would just like to say to to my wife. Uh, I think we, we all knew Tash was going to look, look beautiful today. There was no, no doubt about that. But you look absolutely stunning, Tash. Uh, you blew me away when you walked in. I've got a, a massive thank you to say to start off just to, to Chris and Denise. Uh, thank you so much, first, firstly for, for, for giving me Tash, for allowing me to take Tash off of your hands. <laughs> you, <laughs> you've raised uh, such a loving, thoughtful full daughter and I, I couldn't be more grateful. Uh, I'd like to thank you so much for, for today. Uh, this would never ever have happened without all of your help and support. And Tash has dreamt about this day for, for so long since she was a little girl. And you've made it a reality and you've made Tash so, so happy today which makes me so happy. So thank you so much for, for today, really. And, and then a final thank you for, for making me feel such a big part of the family. As, as Dad said, family means so much to me. And this, this goes to Tim and Kay and the rest of the, the White and Rogers family as well. It's not always easy for me with my family on the other side of the world, but you've all gone out of your way. To, to make me feel welcome and kind of part of the family and I will always be grateful for that. Thank you. And also, to me, I think all the all of Tasha's uncles at some stage uh, during our courtship have taken me aside and just said, look buddy, you, you better look after this one. And after hearing all the stories of you guys grow up, I think I better watch myself. <laughs> Um, and then just to, to my family, to, to mum and dad sat over here, uh, you guys, you, you've sacrificed so, so much for, for Cara and I over the, over the years, you've, you've showered us with, with so much love, um, I'll, I'll try my, my very best to, to, to emulate and instill the values that you guys did in us with, with Tash and Rosie. Uh, and I just have to say thank you so much for everything that you've done for, for myself and Cara D. Uh, Cara, my sister, my beautiful sister sat over there. I owe you so much, guys. From the millions and millions of bowls of cornflakes you made me growing up at school <laughs> uh, to taking me under your wing when I arrived in the UK. Uh, I owe you so much and I'll do my very best to repay you. Uh, yeah, thank you to my family. And <laughs> Then to, to my extended family, to Auntie Jo, Uncle Trip, Trace, Paulicky and Stu, having you guys down the road, you played such a, a big part in, in my upbringing and I have to thank you for everything that you've done for me. The, then to the Oaks, as we call them, uh, Dad mentioned the Stellenbosch crew, uh, or my, my mates in South Africa, we, we refer to our friends as Oaks. Uh, so to, to the Oaks, uh, just the biggest bunch of champions ever. Uh, you guys make me want to be a better person, and I can't thank you enough for making your way over here. I've had the best week being, having you guys in London or in England has just been so special. So thank you guys for coming all the way over. I realise we are quite pushed for time, so uh, to, to my groomsmen, to my groomsmen, Voki and Kev and Tom, I have written a little bit here for each of you, but I think we'll, uh, I'll come and find you a little later in the evening and thank you personally. Uh, but you guys have, have played such a massive role in making today happen. Tom, you've been outstanding, but I really, really do appreciate it. And I know all the boys that are around you yeah, appreciate it. Uh, to my best man, uh, but Stu sat on my left chair. He, this is, is my little brother. Uh, we, we we grew up together in Newcastle. Uh, you know, we we played army. We dressed up, uh, 
and it was such a treat to, to grow up with Stu and then go and study with him in Stellenbosch. And I know I use the word study very loosely in, in term, but to have you stood next to me today has meant the world, Fish, and you've grown up to be such a, such a gentleman, and I, I'm so proud of you. Then to, to Johnny, uh, his left, what a joker. Um, <laughs> Johnny, Johnny's taught me, if anything, over the years that you can get away with murder with just a smile. Uh, <laughs> You've never met a more naughty guy with such a clean track record. Uh, it's incredible. Um, but buddy, you know how much you mean to me. And you're going to be an absolutely incredible father. I know you and Tor have got it on lockdown. And if ever you need any advice or any help, you know, you can just give me a ring and I'll pass the phone straight over to Tash. <laughs> to sort all of that out. Um, Obviously, I can't, I can't mention everybody individually, but to, to everybody sat in this room, if, if you're here tonight, it means you've played a huge role in either myself or Tash, or, or both of our lives. And on behalf of, of my wife, Tash, uh, <laughs> I would like to thank you all for, for everything that you've done. Um, then, today has never just been about myself and, and Tash, it's always also been about little Rosie, who's run off. Is she here? <laughs> Is she in the loop? Can you pop your head up if you feel she's there? Yeah, thanks Johnny. She's here. Yeah, today's, it hasn't just been about myself and Tash, today's always been about, about the three of us, it's been our day, and all the planning we've done and everything, you know, all, all the little bits and bobs that we've done have included our little Rosie here, and she stole my heart from the very first day we met, and she's had me wrapped around her little finger uh, ever, ever since, we, the, the two of us terrorized Tash, knowing, um, but she, since, since meeting Rosie, she's changed my, my perspective on what's important in life. Uh, just impromptu family cuddles, just kisses, family movie nights on the couch. Just all the little things that mean so much to Rose are the, are the things that really, really matter in life. And she's opened our eyes to that. She is the glue that holds our little family together. And I, I, can't, imag I can't imagine life without, without you, Masas. Um, Watching you grow up, there was only, it feels like only yesterday when you couldn't dress yourself or you couldn't clothe yourself, you couldn't brush your teeth, and now you're doing your times table, you're reading books, you're swimming like a mermaid, and mom and I are so, so proud of you, and we love you to the moon and back. Before I get to the soppy bit then, about, about, <laughs> uh, I think it's, it's quite important that we get uh, one of the, the facts out of the way with early on. Anyone who knows Tash and myself, how's it Chris? Anyone who knows Tash and myself knows that we are so, so different. And you might be thinking, how on earth did these two end up together? They are chalk and cheese. If you know, Tash is, is driven, she's determined, she's highly strung, and <laughs> if, if I was any more laid back, I'd be horizontal. Um, but yeah, I think the, the way I, I try and, and, and kind of get that message across, or something that shows our differences, is if we were computer programs, Tash would be an Excel spreadsheet where everything has a logical order, everything's got a, a function, it's got a purpose, it's well organized and it's individual little boxes and everything just makes sense. And I would probably be, be you know, that little paint thing that you find <laughs> in the bottom left corner and there would just be little squiggles going off in different directions with different colors and then I would forget to push save at the end of all of it. <laughs> Yeah, 
but despite our, our differences, I think it, it just works. Uh, Tash and I, we just work. And our differences, if anything, are, are what bind us together. And our differences complement one another. Uh, Tash is the most incredibly strong person, or strong woman that I know. It's, it's, it's not always been easy uh, for Tash. Things haven't always gone her way, but she's just so, so determined to succeed, so determined to do well, and will never ever give up. And just to, to carry on from what Chris said a little earlier, when Tash went back to uni, uh, she decided she wanted to study more. So she, she went back, studied part-time, worked full-time, looked after Rosie, cleaned, cooked, looked after myself, and walked away with the first, uh, which is just incredible. And I don't think you get enough credit for that, Leap. So well done. <laughs> and then, despite... And then despite Tash being so driven and determined and she's got this, this hard outer shell, she's, she's so, so thoughtful and caring on, on the inside. Uh, she cries at absolutely everything, at every John Lewis advert, at every, <laughs> X, every episode of X Factor leaves Tash in tears. Uh, but she's just so, so thoughtful and she puts Rosie and myself ahead of herself every single day. And as, as Dad mentioned earlier, family is so important to me, and so knowing that Tash has those same values of family and friends, she's just so open. Uh, it reminds me of a story that, to, to emphasize that, would, would be a few months ago when a friend of mine, a very good friend of mine from South Africa, Darren, arrived in, in London. He landed in Heathrow and gave me a ring, and I said, oh buddy, it's so good to have you here, you should come around for dinner, How's, how does next week Tuesday sound? And he was like, okay, fixed up, I'll be there at half past seven. So, and I forgot to tell Tash. So the week went past, and Tuesday arrived. Tash walked in from work at half past six. And I was like, hi, love. <laughs> <laughs> How was your day? Oh, this person has done this wrong, and that person hasn't completed this, so it means I'm going to have to do this. There was traffic on the M25. Rosie was late from swimming. I was just thinking, <laughs> I'm like, can I make you a cup of coffee? <laughs> and then I was like, oh, so, so Darren phoned me today, he's just arrived. <laughs> uh, and I said, uh, he can come around for dinner, is that, <laughs> is that okay? And without hesitation, without thinking twice, Tash just went, does he need a lift from Heathrow? Can we go pick him up? Does he, need, does he need to stay the night? He can stay for as long as he likes. Is there anything he doesn't eat? And just so, so welcoming from someone she'd never ever met before. And that is, that is Tash in a nutshell. So, yeah, thank you, Tash. Uh, a little promise I'd like to make to, to you and to Rose. Uh, I, know, I know I wasn't there from the start, but I, I promise I'll be by your side every single step of the way from now on. I, I can't wait. To, to spend the rest of my life with you. I love you. We, we know that. Thank you.